Now he's the winner last year to 1073. Here we go. Elliot. Brown got a much better start though than lane one Jennings. Jeremy Winners! Well, come on in. It's time for Sports Meadville grad and Penn State running back Jerry Brown has had a knack for breaking records almost any time he goes out to compete. That includes doing something no other Nittany Lion running back has ever done before. The pride of Meadville, Jerry Brown not only put his name on the map locally during his high school football career, but he was a known commodity around the nation. Brown's historic 722 yards and 10 touchdowns in a 107-90 win at Dubois in September of 2015 broke national records. I learned a lot from from Saquon and Miles, and um, just watching them in the work work ethic and, and um, just the, how they conduct themselves and carry themselves. Leading the Lions in rushing with 890 yards on the ground on a staggering 6.9 yards per carry and 12 touchdown runs in 13 games. Being able to um, score uh, two touchdowns in uh, Beaver Stadium uh, game opener um, that was one of my favorite highlights. And then not only did I get the scores, uh, all the running backs uh, scored that day. But that's not the whole story. Brown's collegiate breakout game came on Penn State's biggest stage of the season. A lot of people still think and thought that I was one dimensional, just a fast guy, and I feel like that game kind of proved um, all my abilities and what I'm able to do, um, and I, I still feel like uh, um, I only give you guys a sneak peek. A Penn State record for an individual rushing performance in a bowl game belongs to Meadville's Journey Brown after his 202 yards to go along with two touchdowns and the Nittany Lions 53-39 Cotton Bowl victory over Memphis. Cotton Bowl is a huge bowl game and just me being able to uh, take what I've done all year and then to, to let it out one more time and be able to do what I did in that game, um, it felt really good and, uh, and I'm very excited for this next season. Journey, you know, obviously he's from close to Peary, um, didn't have much of a training background. Um, he's been, you know, he's been a little bit like PJ in that he's been very blue calm. Journey's more old fashioned. He just been the punch in the clock every week, every month. And now it's almost three years. So it's been much more methodical. I, mean, I think he was benching 295 when he got here, and he's at 395 now. And our goal was always 100 pounds, but here we got 100 pounds out of him, and he hasn't even been here three years yet. So before you, before you play, um, I would say it, it happened. I started listening to it. Um, when she passed away, of course, because uh, I called her before every game uh, in general. You know, she told me, uh, excuse my friend, she told me to go out there, kick some ass, and uh, imagine me chasing you with a stick behind you. And, uh, and I'm like, okay, yep, I got you. Like, I'm going to do what you tell me to. Like, um, And then it's, it wasn't too long ago uh, when she passed away. Um, like, I, like I, I always have her voice in my head regardless, but um, it was just one of those things that like, I needed to hear. You know, um, it just gives me power. It just gives me uh, confidence to do what I do. And, uh, and it's that knowing that she's not here doesn't mean I, <clears throat> I stopped playing ball for her. Um, so just hearing her voice, you know, it's just more like a comfort thing. It keeps me calm. Meadville's Journey Brown is retiring from the game of football following additional medical tests revealing that he has a heart condition that makes muscles around it abnormally thick. The offensive MVP of the Cotton Bowl learned of his heart condition while getting tested for COVID-19 a couple months ago, even though he never had the virus. Journey's one of the most popular and respected players uh, on our team, and, and we found out about this in early September. Uh, the entire organization has rallied behind Journey and his family. Uh, we need Nittany Nation to do the same, as I know we will. Uh, Journey's handled this unbelievably well, and I know he'll be extremely successful in whatever he decides to do. 